I'd invite Garth McLaughlin forward as our first speaker. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming. It's, uh, it, it's very difficult for me to try and sum up the life of a man in a few minutes, um, especially one who lived a life like Ross Campbell did. Um, you know, you can do the, the writ large stuff where he was <clears throat> a boy on the lake in Lake Brome fishing, which I think was his favorite thing in the world to do. You can talk about his time at Montreal High School, you can talk about his achievements at McGill, you can talk about his love for and his gift for the opera, which some of us got to witness. I watched him sing at a backyard wedding once, it was quite something. Um, but you can only talk about a man like that in context of how he affected your life. So I'll just speak from my heart and my memories uh, and not try and cover anything for anyone else. I, I don't throw around the word Renaissance man very often. Um, I think it applies in spades to Ross. He was everything I just mentioned. He went on to, you know, out of McGill, take a road less traveled, um, selected a little spunky startup called Northern at the time when you know the general path was to General Electric. So uh, we all know where that ended. He, uh, he conducted himself with aplomb. He uh, wound up managing operations globally for that, uh, for that fantastic company at the time at a senior executive level and, uh, and was well loved and respected the entire time. So that's an achievement in and of itself. But I think that when we talk about a man you have to talk about the smaller things. And for me, that's how I'm going to remember Ross. I always felt welcome in his home. Some of that had to do with his bride, I think. I was always well fed, as I could evidence standing here before you now. But it was in the moments of patience and in his own way love that he showed me through the years that taught me things and helped me with my own children. And um, I should probably preface this by saying I was born to fish. I want to just tell people clearly I was born to fish. My uh, first experience with fishing was with a buddy of mine. We were on the river in my hometown. I stepped into his uncle's, my board his hip waders, got into the water, felt my leg completely filling with water. So there was obviously a leak there somewhere. My left leg weighed quite a bit. I tossed out a line, something nibbled at it. I did what every red-blooded Canadian boy does. I shrieked and threw my fishing rod into the river. <laughs> and uh, as we watched Dale's uncle's fishing rod float down, I went, something grab my line. And Dale went, no kidding. <laughs> so that's the raw materials that Ross had to work with when I eventually showed up at the cottage one day. And he took me out on the boat and he tied my lures, and I threw them into trees, and he pulled the boat over and untied them patiently from trees, and then we had children, and Jake and Mackenzie and Katie threw them into trees, and he patiently went over and untied them from trees and said, well, there's no doubt who their father is. But one, one moment that stuck with me was out there splitting wood beside the house one time. Never mind the Christmas dinners, never mind the, the wonderful times at home. The cottage sticks with me a little bit more because I think the first impression when I showed up and he was coming in on water skis and as he went around the raft, he kicked one off. And he wasn't a young man at the time, you know, I mean, relatively speaking he was, but he kicked off a water ski and then slalomed on one ski around the lake for a little while in his late 60s and I thought, all right, I got nothing to show this guy, but he welcomed me and handed me an ax to go split some wood, which I promptly broke. And then he went to the shed 
and he got another axe, which I promptly broke. And then he went to the shed and got an axe handle, put one of the other axe heads onto the axe handle, and without a blink, he just said, if you break this one, I'm going to have to go to town. <laughs> and that's, that's what I remember about him, is that he didn't get upset. He didn't say, he didn't even try and fix my swing. He just let me figure it out. There's a lot to be said for that in a father, in a man, in a boss, in everything that's meaningful. I loved Ross Campbell, still do. Um, I'm sorry we didn't get a fish the last time we were out. Next time. Take care of the grandchildren. <laughs>